I think what uh, made Ryan special on and off the field was uh, his 100% commitment to whatever he's doing. Um, while he's on the pitch, you know exactly what you're going to get out of him, and uh, that's always going to be his, his top effort. Um, that's why he uh, scored so many goals and did so well in his career. I first met him 25 years ago when I was coaching with Ray McCormick this year with under 13. And to be honest, I saw this little kid coming into the first training session and I thought he was trying out for the wrong team. Wasn't even big enough to be a Smurf, but he soon proved be exceptionally gifted, but you know, he, and he was all in. Everything we did, he wanted to do to the best of his ability. He was uh, so fast, probably the, the quickest player we've ever had. Uh, super fit, you know, could, could run all day, um, and and just as fast with the ball at his feet that he, that, as he was without the ball. You know, so that that ability here to play at that kind of speed and tempo was great. Uh, you know, he didn't have a lot of uh, moves. He had a great first touch. Know, really good at keeping the ball close to him, but he'd often just run past players, and uh, sometimes off his knee, sometimes off his shin, sometimes off his foot. Um, but what really separated Ryan from everybody else was his competitiveness. He was a relentless competitor. If he could score 25 goals in a game, he'd go score 25 goals. He competed in practice, he competed everywhere. He was just a world-class competitor. As a coach, we used to set up a drill. We called it the Ryan Anstey. We were out talking to the Ryan Anstey play, and we didn't have anybody else on the team do it. We isolated him all on the wing and played the ball to him directly, and it was him one-on-one -on -one because we knew we would beat the guy. And so we played it uh, in youth soccer. It was incredible. It worked every time. So, um, but, uh, but overall, I think what made Ryan special is just his hard work and uh, his ability to get better over time. I've coached a lot of athletes over the years, uh, David McCachran, Gary McGinnis. Ryan wasn't the best athlete ever, but he was the best finisher ever. Uh, what I remember about Ryan is he would never head a ball. Ryan never struck a ball very hard either. Most of his goals resulted from him running past people and toe-poking it into the net. From time to time people will ask me, just how good was Ryan in those days? and I find a useful analogy in the Fresh Prince episode about Will's basketball skills. For those that don't know it, the gist of it is that Will was an exceptional player and the team's strategy was simply, pass it to Will. Now, I don't think it was that black and white at UPEI, but our counter-attacking offense often amounted in practice to a pass it to Ryan offense. So I don't want to go ahead and accuse Louis of poaching his coaching tactics from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air but I think if you look at Ryan's records and our team's success, I may be on something. Like I said, he was quite a, not a very big guy. And he wasn't a very big guy until he got quite a bit older. And uh, so he, he, he had to survive against much bigger players. And he was tenacious and competitive and, and, and never going to give up no matter how big the opponent was. Uh, so playing with Ryan, he led by example when he was on the field. Uh, he was the fastest, most tenacious player that uh, I think uh, a lot of players in the island have ever played with. And uh, he had uh, a knack for scoring goals. And that's one of the hardest things to do on the field, and, and he made it look easy. <laughs> well, uh, one of my best memories it actually doesn't have anything to do with playing soccer, but it has to do with us traveling to a game. Uh, and uh, we left him at the ferry uh, going to a game in St. of X for a preseason game. We didn't notice until we got in the locker room. We started announcing the starting lineup. We said, okay, Ryan, you're up front. And uh, Ryan wasn't in the locker room. He stole the ferry. So that's one of my best memories, for sure. But my truest memory of Ryan is the year we hosted uh, Senior Men's Nationals here in PEI, and he scored in overtime, uh, and we won a national gold medal. So he's a special player for me because of that connection. Plus, Ryan and I, have developed a really close friendship over the years too. Yeah, well, I mean, there's so many. I could talk all night about uh, highlights of Ryan playing, but uh, two of the biggest ones for sure are uh, the goal he scored in the AUS final in, in the blizzard, the goal which I still haven't seen because the snow was blowing so hard and he was up the other end of the field. Uh, and certainly the way he played in uh, the, you know, the quarterfinal game against Carleton in, in 2005. They were number one team ranked in, in the country. And uh, he came in and just destroyed them on that day. He was pretty angry that day because I had uh, 
sat him in the AOS playoffs because he was injured. So he had a lot of energy pent up and uh, Carlton paid the price for it. Specifically coming from Ryan, I think the biggest lesson that, uh, that I've learned from him is his devotion to his family, uh, his commitment to his family, his, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's something that I see and hear about a lot from him and it has and it's shown over the time and uh, that's something definitely that, uh, that I take from him that uh, I take to heart and, and uh, I really consider him a good friend. Well, congratulations, big fella. It's uh, been a, a little while coming. I've been to your wedding, uh, and I know you're just about as excited as this. I wasn't around for the birth of your son, but I imagine this uh, is going to come on a par with that. I know how proud you were to be a Panther, and congratulations, and all the best. Ryan, we're all very proud of you. You worked hard, and you deserve this. So enjoy your big night. Take care. Yeah, so I'd just like to say congratulations to Ryan for being inducted into the UPEI Sports Hall of Fame. Um, it's a recognition that he certainly deserves and, and I am proud to uh, have called him my teammate and uh, still proud to call him my friend. Yeah, well first of all I'd like to say welcome home. It's great to have him back on the island. Um, I tell him to certainly hope he enjoys the evening, seeing old friends, telling old stories. Uh, and to never forget that uh, he's part of the Panther family and he's one of the all-time greats to play soccer at UPI.